Welcome back everyone on this episode of Wade is a pro and he's tasting like a pro and he's a pro's pro. We're going to find out if he gets humbled because I'm pretty sure I will be. I'll be humbled at some point. I've had some easy drinks as of late and so the profiles probably are pretty recognizable but I feel like eh, I'm going to sit on my high horse and say I'm going to crush this one too. Who knows? Appreciate you guys but this is Wade versus the pros. Let's go! All right, guys, if you haven't seen this series, please go through and watch all of them because they're quite entertaining, I'm sure. But the, uh, so the premise of this is I reviewed, I, I reviewed a few of the more prolific bourbon YouTubers and uh, people that I respect their palates. And so that's Fred Minnick, of course, ADHD Whiskey, Matt, that dude's awesome. And Jason from Mass and Drums. I think those guys are awesome. I know there's a lot of other people that are highly respectable and do a better job than I do, of tasting and pulling out notes, but I picked those, uh, reviewed all of their different uh, videos that they made, picked the videos that they reviewed bottles that I owned, and then I poured them up, wrote down their nosing and tasting notes, and then I'm gonna do a blind to see if I can get even close to them. So that's it. So, how we do it? If you've never seen it before, samples, blinded, urban hall, Glenn, clean, ready to go. And then we pick one randomly. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone had a good holiday season. You know, let me know guys. I've got six, nine, nice. Um, I've got nine samples left. Should I reload and keep this series going? Do you guys enjoy it? Let me know because I'll keep doing this. It's a lot of fun. And it's kind of interesting to find out and learn a little bit about yourself, right? So let me know. I'm gonna pick this one, which is number eight. Eight. All right, number eight. So while I'm pouring this up, if you guys could smash that like button, hit the comments, let me know what you think. Also, subscribe if you're not subscribed, please. Uh, also, if you like supporting me or if you just think that you should support me, I appreciate that greatly. Check out the merch, should be down below. Also, if you really, you know, just enjoy this uh, content that I produce and create, you know, maybe check out Patreon. There's a lot of extra perks in there. And that's the community I wanna build through that, through Discord, yeah, and through all of these different fun sites that people say mean things to me about, but I don't care because it's kind of fun. All right, number eight. Eight is the loneliest number that I can think of right now. Is it one? Yeah, it's one is the loneliest number. Yeah, anyway, by the way, if you guys don't know, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, I'm batching all of these because my work has changed and I'm getting my butt kicked for the next month and a half. So I have to batch videos. So this is the third video I'm shooting today. And yeah, so if I seem more relaxed, more loose, a little bit more flippant with whatever I feel like I'm talking about, it's because of my third video. And I've been, I'd be drinking and making good choices, I'm sure. Yeah, appreciate y'all checking this out. All right, here we go, number eight. Good nose, and I just remembered, guys, turn 40, as you know, work out. I've been working out pretty hard, trying to get myself in the best shape I can to hit 40 running, right? Hurt myself yesterday, my, my wing, my, I hurt my wing. My shoulder's a little bit messed up. I didn't realize I'm right-handed, but I do most of my stuff, grab stuff with my left hand. And man, reaching out really hurts now, but I'm sure it's just muscular. So hopefully it's no, you know, significant tearing. Yeah, getting old sucks. Cheers. All right, off the nose. Vanilla. Uh, oaky vanilla, right off the top. Oh, I'm gonna guess it's a lower proof. They don't actually do that in there, but I'm just gonna guess because it doesn't have a really punchy nose like some of the other ones. Mmm, licorice. Mmm, ooh. Like almost a, hmm, a licorice, but not like a black licorice, but it has, it's like a high quality licorice that's actually made with licorice. How many times can I say licorice? My God. Licorice, yeah. New drinking game. Caramel, caramel, caramel. Mmm. 
let that just air out just a second. Guys, I'm letting you know, if you're just watching this and you haven't seen my updates, I'm going live 4-7, around 7.30 p.m. I'm bringing it up a little bit earlier. The kids know that I do lives now, and so it's I'm not gonna try to hide it from them in the sense of, you know, oh, what's your dad doing? He's talking to strangers on the internet. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. And when summer comes around, they're not gonna be going to bed as early, so they're gonna have to get used to dad uh, doing lives. So doing a live this weekend, four, seven. I know this is gonna date this video, so if you see it, just skip a little bit. But four, seven, Patreon giveaways, and there will be some other giveaways that I think that you should stop by for. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, gave myself a little bit of time. The nose is pretty muted, I'll say. Maybe a little chocolate? Yeah. Hmm. I'm really trying to work it into that glass, get it up there, because I'm just worried I'm missing something. Not a really overly punchy nose. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I think there's a little bit of a fruit in there, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm actually excited about this one. This one's a little bit uh, perplexing for me. So let's find out. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. Right off the bat, hit with like an oak drying. I mean, pretty drying. Weird. What in the hell is number eight? This is gonna be a real humbling one. Oaky. You know, I don't catch a whole lot of like, powerful or like, recognizable palette there. A little bit of citrus on the back. Uh, maybe an orange of some sort. Hmm. Kind of oaky, kind of orangey. Not bad overall. That is an interesting palette for sure. The drawing is pretty aggressive on my tongue right now. Huh. You know what? I'm going to go rinse my palette real quick and come back. Tell you what, guys, that really threw me for a loop, so I just wanted to make sure that I'm giving this justice. The drying aspect of that is so crazy. I mean, right when it hit my tongue, it kind of dried. Almost makes me feel like there's Spanish oak. Sometimes I get that on a Spanish oak. Or French oak, not Spanish. French oak. Hmm. Still not much on the nose. Yeah. Get the little bit of that licorice. A lot of oak. I don't get a lot of the vanilla from the oak. It's just like a dry and bitter oak. I'm gonna say that this is, whew, that's not my favorite. I, I would say that this is not one that I would be real interested in drinking a lot. Boy, am I gonna be humbled here because I know this is a bottle that I own and I don't know what the hell it could be it's just oaky, eh, eh. Hmm. What could that be? Maybe a double oaked? Something. It's just pretty tannic. All right. Yeah. Would I buy another ball of this? I guess we're gonna find out. I don't think so. This is a scared face. Okay. That had a little bit of the sweet, like uh, sweet vanilla, caramel, a little butterscotch maybe. Awfully tannic. All right. Guys. Mm. Nope. I'm going to say it. It doesn't have a terrible finish. It's not hitting my tongue right. I'm going to put it over here and just think about it for a little while. So, number eight. 
Number eight. Okay. And you guys already know what it is. And you can see the graphic. I'm scared. Hmm. Wow. That is not usually what I get off of that. My palette just must be a little bit different today. Well, guys. This is... Yeah, I believe it's, it says B.I.B. Soft Red. So I'm guessing that's the Holiday Bottle and Bond Soft Red. Now I will say this is 100 proof. I actually prefer the Rick House proof of this. Gentle on the nose, touch of nutty is what, oh, it's ADHD whiskey, Matt there, okay. Brighter and zippy is what he said. Hmm. So yeah, I would say that I didn't catch a whole lot out of the nose. I thought it was kind of muted. All right, a bit of floral, okay? Bitter dark chocolate, finish is bitter, yeah. Stone fruit, apple peel, okay. Hmm, what do I think about this? The finish is pretty bitter. I actually like some of their products. I like Ben Holiday's products for the most part. This did not hit me right today, I'll tell you that. So. I stand by it. I do like Ben Holiday's stuff. The finish is really bitter on this. I'm surprised it hit me so far. And I honestly, that's what blinds are really awesome about because they make you look like a fool of things that you've said in the past. Do I like this product most of the time? Yeah, it's all right. Is it like one I go out and like, I'm gonna die for? No, but I like the Rick House Proof more. Interesting. Well, we learn something every day, guys. We learn something every day. But, uh, so I'm sitting here kinda on track, kinda off. It just proved that I didn't really like something that I kinda thought I did. How about that? Different days, different days, man. But I appreciate you guys for watching. My name's Wade, this is Bourbon Hall, and I'm still a pro, kinda. Yeah, yeah, I got the bitter, cause you know, bitter is one of the most distinguishable flavors to anybody. So yeah, take that. What do you think? Trolls on the internet? Anyway, appreciate you guys stopping in. Until next time, let's drink some whiskey that's not so bitter. Peace.